TV. Now today on Stitches TV we are going to make a fur or fake fur Russian hat. Now the big deal about this fur hat that we're making today is that I have to leave in half an hour to go and pick up my son. So do you think we can make a fur hat in 30 minutes? So at the moment, my clock says 2.40, all right? I promise not to change it, because of course I could change it. I promise not to change it, okay? So 2.40, and I'm gonna put it up there, and I won't touch it. Right, Whew, no pressure. So the first thing I'm gonna do is measure around my head. And that measurement is 21 inches. So that's my head, which is 55 centimetres. Now, I don't want my Russian hat to be really tight. I kind of want it to look a little bit oversized. So I'm going to make my hat 23 inches. So that's a, an inch and a half bigger. So I'm going to take that measurement. Oh, look at that. It's almost exact. And transfer it onto the fur. Now, this is important. For the bit that goes around your head, you want the pile going around your head. So when you cut your strip, you want that pile going along the strip, okay? That's important. So I'm gonna measure onto here 23 centimeters. Now, decide how deep you want it to be. So I think that four inches is probably deep enough. So I'm gonna make it double, because what happens is this folds back. So that will become the inside and then that will be the outside. So I'm gonna make it double, so that will be eight inches. So let's see what that is in centimeters. So that's about 20 centimeters, okay? So I'm gonna use this rear marker. I know that seems a bit over the top, but I want you to be able to see. So I'm just gonna go along measuring eight inches so we need a rectangle for me we need a rectangle that's 23 inches by eight inches i'm just going to square it off down here this is how you cut fur use a blade that's so important you can do little snip snips with your scissors, so you do not cut that back pile, all right? Or what's much quicker is to use a scalpel or a blade. And then all you do is, my blade is really, really sharp, so I'm hardly applying any pressure on that blade. And then look, I can just pull it apart, so I get that lovely pile. And we just do it all the way round cutting with the blade. Now I want you to see this, look, look how lovely that pile is. And the other brilliant thing is there's no mess. Where's the mess? There's no mess. Now when we do our hat, that, oof, the raw edge is going to be the bit that gets attached onto the circle and the bit where we folded it, because look, that's, that's one piece and we're folding it back when we make it. It will be folded under to create the facing. So that will then go around my head. Now you can see why I didn't want it to be too tight. So now what we have to decide is do we want the top part to be like a kind of oval or a circle? I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, the circumference of that circle is just a little bit bigger than whatever that length is. And the reason why is when we sew, okay, when we sew our seams, so we put it right sides together, we, hard, we hardly do any seam allowance at all. We push all of the pile in 
and we do a zigzag stitch, right? We're hardly doing any seam allowance. So whatever that measurement was, is gonna be the same as the circumference of my circle or my oval for the, the top part, for the crown, would it be the crown, of my Russian hat. But make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so the length of the bit going around my head, we said was 23. I want it to be a little bit be bigger so I think I'm probably going to do it 20, well, I, don't, I think 24 would be too big, but I'm going to do 24 because I can make it smaller, but I can't make it bigger. So I guess I should be a bit economical there. So I'm going to do a sort of rough circle, very rough circle. So let's see, roughly like that. Like that. So I'm just doing a few dots. And then I'll make it a bit neater afterwards, but I think that's kind of okay. And then roughly draw around so it's like a circle. Okay, then measure, measure your circle or your oval. Start at one of the dots and then go around and see if it comes to more or less the same Measurement, yeah, that's 24, so that's fine. So then using your blade, very carefully. Now, the sharper your blade, honestly, the easier this will be. So I'm just going around my circle with that blade or scalpel. Now, when we stitch this, when we stitch this to the... Um, the bit that goes around the edge. Because we push, because we're pushing all of our pile in when we sew, hopefully that join will be sort of seamless. Right, you're gonna to have to put notches on your long strip that goes around the head. Now I want you to find where the middle, the middle of the strip is by folding it over. And then you need to find where quarter of the strip is and then you do the same on the other end as well now make sure you mark on both sides because you're going to need it on both sides i want you to fold over the circle of the crown and then you've got to make a notch to show where half is and then fold it the other way matching up those notches and then just mark where half is again so you've got quarters on the circle and quarters on the long bit as well so you use that circle that you've cut out of fur that's going to be the crown of the hat use it as a template to cut out the lining now i'm just drawing around with my 3m marker which is a bit naughty um, but if you're really careful and you don't mark the fur, it'll be okay. Now, I am actually cutting my circle about a centimetre bigger than the fur one because I'm going to use a little bit of a seam allowance when I stitch in the lining. Okay, so you get that long strip and you've got to fold it over and we're going to stitch along this edge. Now it's really important that you push the pile in as you stitch your seam together and you're only going to be zigzagging along the edge. Now I think it's a good idea to put a little notch here, just mark it with a pen because when you sew with fur it does move around quite a lot. Now you're just sewing as if you're doing an overlock on the edge. So your sewing needle goes on and then it comes off where it touches just the edge. And then as you sew, push the fabric through and push in that pile. That's really, really important. Now when it's done, it should look like this. 
and have a look at the right side. Look at that, now that is quality. Right, now you're going to stitch the crown on and you'll use exactly the same method. You're going to, you're going to match up your notches, so remember you've got quarter notches and ease the fabric together as you go around. So just doing the zigzag stitch, just going around the edge. Well, I do wish I'd made it a little bit bigger, I have to say. So I made it an inch and a half bigger and that wasn't quite enough. I think two and a half inches bigger than your head measurement, look. I'm sorry about that loss of sound, but my battery popped out of my microphone. So I have got a ponytail, so maybe that's why it's tight. But anyway, so this is what we have so far. Right, so look at the time quarter past okay so it's been 35 minutes I think I can squeeze five more minutes to do the lining okay so fabric right sides together we've got our lining start at one of those notches okay I'm going to start at that big notch there and I'm going to line it up with the back now we're going to have to leave a big opening so that we can turn the hat through but do the same thing, squidge in your fur, but this time we're going to sew with a straight stitch, okay, but we do need to line up our notches, so I'm just going to push my hat inside like that and line up my notches, I'm going to line up those two and I'm not thinking so much about the pile now. I'm just stitching the lining to the hat using a straight stitch. So just work your way around the hat with a very small seam allowance but using a straight stitch. So I'll line up my next notch now. So I think that's those two and work my way around the hat. So you've got to leave a hole that's big enough to turn the hat through. So don't be too greedy. Uh, I think like 10 centimeters should be enough. So look, there's my hole for turning it through. Ah, I think we've got two minutes left. Right, so let's see. Going to turn it the right way round now. Yep, 10 centimetres seems to be big enough for turning your hat through. I'm going to stuff in the, the lining and the facing. Now, two things. One is that you'll need to stitch up that hole, which you can do by hand or by machine. I think it'd be fine by hand. Now, I reckon you probably need to do the odd little tack to hold that lining in place. But should we have a look? We'll have a proper look and I'll let my hair down and everything. I want you to see how really nice it is inside as well and how beautifully finished off our seams are. I just want you to appreciate that. Now that little hole, see that little hole there? Okay, you just stitch that up by hand. Right, so in 40 minutes, but remember I'm filming so it's not fair because <laughs> I have to keep switching on and off the camera. So in 40 minutes we have made this rather nice, I think, Russian hat. Thank you so much for watching. Now if you love fur hats, I do actually have another 
video tutorial on how to make more of a 60s style Russian hat. So go and have a look at that. I'll put a link at the end of the film. Now don't forget to subscribe, but when you subscribe, it seems that you have to press that little bell so that you get notifications about my new uploads. See you again very soon. Bye.